Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Motivating Mondays. I am Liz Peterson, speech language pathologist of 23 years and my company is Speech and Voice Enterprises. We are in our How to Eliminate That Fear of Public Speaking series and today we are going to specifically talk about how to burn out that nervous energy. Now last week I said when you have fear of public speaking it is very much a real thing. Your body is going through that fight, flight, or freeze situation and that's because your brain has released a tremendous amount of adrenaline into your body causing all of these unhelpful things to happen to you when you need to speak before others. Let's come up with some ways to get rid of that energy. Now, for those of you who have mild fear of public speaking, you might notice that when you get up to the podium, at first you're nervous, you feel that nervous energy, maybe your voice is a little bit rattly, then after a few minutes, that energy has been burnt away, you're feeling better. The reason why that is happening is because what I said is true. The movement of getting up there and delivering your presentation literally burnt that nervous energy away. But for those of you who experience it on a much more grand level, we don't want to wait till the moment you're called to speak to start addressing these issues. So you can actually burn this energy out of your system before it's time for you to speak. My clients have commented on how these strategies have really helped them. One strategy I call is initiated greeting. If this is appropriate for you, if you're giving a sales meeting or perhaps you are um, speaking to employees in a company, what I want you to do is literally walk and go to different people in the room. Go right on up to them and say, hi, Martha, really great to see you again. Shake her hand because this is burning out that energy. Don't walk slow and nervous. Take really big steps. Go up to other people. Hey, Joe, nice to see you. I'm glad you're able to make it to today's meeting. If you are doing a sales meeting or perhaps a continuing education event, go up to your people and introduce yourself and say, hi, I'm Liz Peterson. Thanks for coming. Uh, tell me something that you're hoping to gain from this topic. They'll say something and be like, oh, I have a whole section on that. You'll leave here with some very, very helpful information. Burning that energy, going from room to room helps get it out and it does make a difference. Also, it positions you to have contact with your people and you'll find that your audience actually consists of very friendly people. And I want you to realize that what you have to say is important. You have information that people want. If a company is interested in a product you're selling, they want that information. If you're an executive and you're delivering new information, they want that information. And I think sometimes people get so caught up in the fear of their presentation that they almost take on a me versus you attitude. Let's not do that. Keep in mind that your people want to hear what you have to say. And if you go and you work the room, that will help you burn some of that energy. Another strategy is to diaphragm breathe. When you're sitting and waiting, take that nice full breath from your diaphragm. Your body will be filled with good oxygen and you'll be very, very relaxed and your posturing will be open. If you're nervous and you're not breathing well, everything is tight. So sit there and take that nice diaphragm breath. When it's your turn to go up before the group and speak, walk very brisk. Sometimes when people are nervous, they do what I call the nervous shuffle. They just kind of go, take little baby steps. It's almost as if they're going to their execution. Instead, I want you to take deliberate steps. Walk deliberately, take big steps. Move your arms. Again, this is a strategy for burning out that nervous energy. And then when you stand before the group, take a diaphragm breath and say hello and introduce yourself. Taking these big steps and starting on a diaphragm breath will help you burn out some of that energy and start on a very strong note. If it's appropriate, on your way up, sing or hum a little bit. <laughs> Chances are, if it's a large group, your people won't hear you, but that's another way 
to burn that energy out. If you are giving a presentation in a hotel, I, I tell my clients to go walk the stairs. If there's, you know, every hotel has a stairwell, go up two or three blocks, two or three levels. That will burn out some of that energy. And also, if you're really nervous, I tell my clients, go to the bathroom and do some of those 1980s isometric exercises. If you don't know what that is, look it up, isometric exercises. But that's when you take your muscles and you tighten, release, tighten, release, tighten, release. So I tell my clients, go into a bathroom stall and press against the wall and relax. Press against the wall and relax. That burns out some of that energy. Also, when you're sitting, start moving parts of your body. Squeeze your quadricep and relax. Squeeze your other quadricep, then relax. Get your calf muscles, squeeze your butt cheeks. Here you'll be doing these isometric exercises while sitting and waiting with the goal of burning out some of that nervous energy and nobody will know your business. If you have fear of public speaking, it is very, very helpful to try to burn out some of that nervous anxiety before you get up there. These strategies have proven to be very successful according to some of my clients. But I wanna remind you, I'm gonna ask you a question. What is the number one cause for fear of public speaking? Do you know? It's actually not being prepared enough. If you are deathly afraid of speaking before a group, then for heaven's sakes, find the time and rehearse, 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 rehearse. There is nothing worse than getting up in front of the podium and going, oh, I wish I rehearsed this a few more times. So be well prepared, everybody. And if you're feeling nervous, try some of these strategies to burn out that nervous energy. And I think you'll find that these strategies are very helpful. Until next Monday, everybody, bye-bye.